Hi everyone, in this demo I will explain to you how you can perform a geocoding, in other words how you can uh, edit your uh, geographic data uh, if Tableau fails to recognize by default uh, those data while you uh, import them onto Tableau. So um, as you may know by now that uh, when you bring uh, data or variables onto uh, Tableau. Uh, Tableau has an algorithm that uh, automatically uh, detects and assigns uh, variable type or data type to each of your uh, variable or fields. And so, uh, and based on that, uh, you're able to plot your uh, lat to long or uh, geodata onto your um, uh, visualization canvas. For instance, I have the state, which is a geodata, as you can see on its type here. Um, it's a string, it has a geographic role, and it's a state or province. So, um, if, you know, to plot state, you could either simply double click on the plot on the state, or you can just um, select the mapping visualization here in order to plot your uh, geodata onto uh, the canvas and as you can see uh, it's plotted here now but what if you have data that have let's say misspelling or errors with the lat or long or with the name or has um, you know it's a city but it's uh, tableau categorizes it or assigns it the role of a state those types of inconsistencies inconsistencies how would you resolve those. So in this video, I'll explain that to you. And for the sake of this example, I put together three different tabs in Microsoft Excel. Uh, one of them is the city geo, and I have a, 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 a wide range of cities here. There are two cities actually that I misspelled here intentionally, so that you know we can uh, you know uh, connect them with Tableau and then see how we can mitigate them on Tableau using geocoding. The second tab is Country Geo. I have two uh, country names here. Uh, uh, these are lists of the country names. I have two country names uh, uh, I have intentionally misspelled so that we can mitigate them on Tableau as well. And then we have a Zip Geo or Zip Codes, and I will show you how Tableau can also, the Tableau algorithm can also fail to detect and recognize your uh, geographic data uh, as, a, uh, in, in, as a result of which you'll have to do, uh, you'll have to perform certain uh, procedures uh, for Tableau to start to read and capture this information as the geographic type of information. So in my first uh, uh, Tableau workbook, I have the uh, geographic data that is uh, uh, based on the city, uh, uh, which is this tab here. And so I, I uh, once I imported it onto Tableau, as I said earlier, the Tableau algorithm automatically detects and assigns a variable type for it. And uh, as you can see, uh, automatically I have the uh, geographic data uh, symbol here, which tells us that Tableau has already recognized our variable. And now what's important is that we need to make sure that Although Tableau recognizes the variable as a geographic data, we have to make sure that a Tableau is also accurate in terms of the geographic role. So, you know, and as you can see, we have a variety of roles that a geographic data can, uh, can uh, be attributed to, in which case Tableau is correct in assigning this variable uh, the city role. And again, it has a lot to do with the name and not only with the uh, content of your variable or, or field, but also the name. And so the name that the name of the variable that, that we have in Excel, or the name of the column that we have on Excel, uh, city name, actually uh, tells Tableau that not only this is a geographic data, but it, its role is a city. So Tableau is uh, accurate in establishing both of uh, those specification. So um, again, since this is a, a established geographic data, all we have to do is just double click on it and Tableau will automatically 
plot the chart for us. And as you can see, we now have the chart plotted here. But we're not seeing any information because, as you can see, there are no uh, there are no data points here. And even if we let's say drag uh, the measures variable onto the colors, we still don't see no data points. Why? Because Tableau is telling us there are eight values that are unknown. They're unknown geographic data. So um, there are two ways we can resolve for this. Uh, uh, first, first one is to double click on the on the missing unknown uh, error on the sheet, or you can also simply go to the map uh, 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 toolbar and then click on edit location. So either way, so when you're here on edit location, this is where the magic happens. So uh, as you see, as you can see, uh, we have numerous uh, cities that are ambiguous, and then we have a couple of cities that are unrecognized. So Tableau is not sure, and it has to do with the fact that Alexandria, the city Alexandria, is in almost uh, 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 dozens of countries, including Egypt, including uh, Greece, U.S., uh, all over the world. So Tableau is not sure uh, what, or, or even within the U.S., the city Alexandria uh, may occur in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a bunch of different states or provinces. So Tableau is not as ambiguous in terms of designating what uh, uh, which Alexandria w w or, or is 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 uh, this data set really referring to? So in that case, adding a layer for the state actually will solve for this problem. So let's say as all of these cities are uh, jurisdictions of the state of Virginia, we click on Virginia, and bingo, as we saw, it automatically saw one, two, three, four, five, five of these. Um, uh, uh, data points. So we have five accurate uh, city names that uh, Tableau uh, geocoding just recognized. But then we have three more, and um, uh, actually three of them have uh, a spelling errors. I made a mistake. It's not only Chesapeake and Fairfax, but also uh, Virginia Beach, where I am missing an I. So this is not. In th this is actually. Uh, not intentional my error so in this case we have three unrecognized uh, locations so how do we solve for these um, it's easy uh, there uh, 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 a tablet gives you a series of options the first option is for you to go through the list and select it and the second option is to assign or to to input the lat along for that location so for example Virginia Beach uh, since Virginia Beach is not very common, there's only one Virginia Beach, then we can pretty much type it in, and bingo, Tableau recognizes it. And then Fairfax, it uh, has spelling error, and Fairfax, and since it's already under the state of Virginia, we can give it to Fairfax easily. Now the Chesapeake, you can do the same thing with Chesapeake, but, you know, by typing it and getting the right spelling. But for this, for Chesapeake, I wanted to show you how you can actually use the lat or long coordinates. So in which case, I have uh, opened the coordinates page for Chesapeake, where I have the latitude and longitude. So let me go ahead and copy the latitude and go back to Tableau and go to enter lat and long. On my latitude, I will copy and paste the latitude coordinates. And for my longitude, I'll copy and paste longitude. And there you go. It should solve the problem now. Click on OK. And bingo. The uh, error exclamation point disappeared right away. And now that we have all these um, uh, geographic data points resolved, we can click on OK. And there you go. Now we have the data points uh, visible that we can see. Now let's look at at least Chesapeake. We want to make sure the Chesapeake lot and long is accurate. And it is accurate. So Chesapeake is north next to Portsmouth. And so we have the Chesapeake here. And then also the, the, the spelling problem for the other um, location will also resolve. We have a problem with Fairfax. So Fairfax, remember, this is the, we still have the name at Fairfax, but it doesn't really matter because in the back end, uh, Tableau is using actual name, which is Fairfax. 
So it's just a label. And the label or, or that you see on the tooltip is it's it's what Tableau is talking on the surface or on the actual name of that variable. That's just a label, but that does not mean that uh, that it's actually the actual name. So for instance, if you use a lat along that has a name X Y Z, but the lat along belongs to a country in Africa, that name may not be associated with lat along because it's just a label, and labels can, are subject to change. So I just want to make sure that you know that. But you can always go and change the label. So we have all our um, accurate data points here now. Now I'll just make sure I put in color, uh, medium size as well, and you can see. We have the population size going from the lowest in Richmond to the highest in Roanoke to 123,000. So that was the first example where we use uh, lat and long and also we fix the name of the city to, um, to uh, validate the name, uh, the, geo the geographic name on Tableau. The second example is a country name actually. Now let's go to the second workbook. The second workbook. Uh, is here and let's go to oh that's the zip code that we want the second workbook and this is the second workbook there you go and let's go to sheet one and I have separated all these um, tabs onto different uh, Tableau workbooks just to make it easy so again as you can see uh, Tableau automatically um, assigns uh, the the country variable column Field, however, however, whatever you want to call it, uh, to a to a geographic data type, as you can see from the symbol, and the geographic role is also country. So Tableau, Tableau is accurate in establishing both layers of algorithmic designation for the, the variable type. So it's good to go. Now that we have the country name, and uh, and one of again. To, 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 a couple ways that you can that you can know that uh, that you can um, uh, 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 validate that your uh, data is a geographic data. One is by looking at the symbols. Or second is that by looking at lat and long. So when you bring in a geographic data, Tableau automatically produces lat and long uh, in the back end so that it can use those lat and long associated with those with those geographic names in order to plot. Um, uh, 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 geographic information visualization for you. So uh, we double click on the country uh, variable and bingo we get all the names of the country over with all, all the data points for the countries. And as you can see uh, the population and we have all these countries here. But what is the problem? The problem is we have a couple of data points or uh, country names that have actually spelling errors and Tableau has already pointed out to us. So uh, there are two ways again we can go to edit the uh, location uh, by going to the map or by clicking on this link. It's actually telling us that, uh, well, Japan, a Tableau automatically uh, fix it for us. As you can see, Japan, uh, I, I spelled it intentionally as Japan, and Tableau uh, uh, fix it as Japan. And you can also see it that it's here, actually, the name Japan. And there you go. In Japan is a small island. We might as well just type their name and get the visualization. As you can see, Japan is there, and we have data points for Japan. So uh, again, Tableau um, fixed it for us. Uh, and then, but there's one um, a geo data point at being Turkey that Tableau is not sure about. And so, uh, why it's not sure about? Maybe because there are a variety of countries or that have uh, the that assembles or it's that assembles or uh, closely aligned with this label. So uh, Tableau is telling us that it's unrecognized. So and that's how we can solve it, just like with the name of the cities, Turkey. And there you go. That's solved the problem. Click on OK, and there you go. We should be able to see Turkey now, right there. Okay, so that was the second example where we used um, uh, location editing to. Uh, fix uh, names of countries. Now the third one, the most in, uh, interesting one, is the zip codes where we have uh, ge geographic information uh, by zip codes. So uh, let's go to Tableau or Workbook 3 and there you go.
go. I have the zip code, but ah, there's something interesting. We don't have the log to have the log, and we also don't have the symbol for the zip code or the Z code uh, to show that Tableau's algorithm has detected this variable as a uh, geographic data type. So why? Because uh, number one, because the name zip zip code is not uh, is, is is not does not resemble significantly a a geographic data typology and also the in the, the the information the content of the zip codes are, are numerical values so it's very difficult for tableau to designate if this is really a zip code or it's a, a an integer that may represent pretty much anything salary age i don't think age anybody is 92,000 years old but anything else and these are numerical values and numerical values numerical va values application use could vary uh, very significantly so what what could, what are we supposed to do here now so again uh, this is why it's important that we know that you know uh, we uh, pers that first that uh, we assign first we change this to uh, we don't have to change the string because it's zip code we can keep it as number uh, but then with the geographic rule we're going to go ahead and change this to zip code and then what it does is it automatically changes our variable type to a uh, a, a geodata by uh, uh, giving it the uh, symbol of a, of, a, of a map as well as producing that along here now and uh, pretty much how we plot the visualization is, is simple double click on, on your uh, data variable and there you go we get all our data points here and let's say if we drag and drop the calculation the population measure on to the color we can see that uh, these are our data points and um, if you go to edit locations we do not see any problem here and if we do just like then just like the other uh, uh, geographic variable uh, variables that we had problems with we can change them here and it should be an easy fix so that summarizes my video on uh, geocoding and customization of uh, geo related data onto Tableau thank you so much